Right, what we're going to do today is we're going to do more scratch. Okay, so what we're going to try and do today, we're going to have uh, two buttons, okay, and one button where if you press on it, it will increase the size of the sprite. And then if you press the other one, it will actually decrease the size of the sprite. Okay, so let's change the title first. Let's change it to change size. Okay. So now that we've done that, what we need to do, we we have to first create the buttons. So we're going to have to make our own sprite. So let's go and make the buttons. Okay, let's start doing some. We'll change the color to red. I want to let's make two red buttons. Okay, let's make a circle first, and we want to look make the button look a bit raised. So we're going to okay copy this circle and then paste it. And put one underneath it. Okay, take it to back. Okay, so we're gonna do we're just gonna create draw straight lines, okay, on both sides. Okay, so that will give the effect of rate button being raised. Okay. So what we're going to do now, let's create a like a little base. Okay, send it to a back. So it looks like he's actually sitting on something. Okay. Okay, let's just change the size, the brush. So I want to color that part a little bit. There's a white. Okay, color that in. Okay, so that's, there you have your button. Okay, the base it looks a bit out of place, so just change it a little bit. Okay, so then now you have your first button. So you have one button, obviously you need two, so let's just duplicate that. Have a duplicate. So you've got two buttons, now you can have two buttons side by side. Okay. But we actually don't need the cat, so we're just going to delete the cat because we're going to have a different sprite. Okay. So what we uh, need to do right now is basically, obviously you've got the button one and button two, but we want to indicate which button is going to uh, be uh, um, inflating and which button could be different. So let's create this one. Let's put a sign on top of the button to actually indicate, okay, the buttons, if you press this one, you're gonna they inflate it. So let's put an arrow upwards. Okay, so, and for this one, we're gonna put down arrow. So indicate if you press it, you're gonna going to deflate it. So you're gonna make it, make the spike smaller. Okay, so now you have your okay two buttons. So what we need, we need the sprite. So I think the interesting thing is we, we can get the balloon. So balloon is a nice one thing. You can press it; it will increase, inflate the balloon, and you can deflate the balloon. <coughs> so now you got your balloon. So you got your sprites ready. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to code them. So so let's go the first one. So when the flag is clicked, okay. So the next thing we need to do, we need to get. Uh, the forever loop okay let's try and drag it there okay so the next thing we need to do is try and get the if statement okay and if okay so the next thing we need to do in to get the operation and we're going to get the sensors okay when the mouse pointer is touching and his mouse is down, okay, what we want to do is we're going to get an okay broadcast and we're going to do uh, inflate balloon. Now let's just have inflate, okay. So, okay, now you've got this one. So we want the balloon to receive, okay, so when the balloon, okay, when I receive, okay, inflate, I want to, okay, change to 10, so now if, if I duplicate that for the second button, and then, okay, so when I do change this to deflate, Okay, so we want to actually send change the for the balloon. So you just duplicate this code, 
and then this time obviously when when I receive deflate I want to do minus 10 okay so you, you will actually de re re decrease the size of the balloon okay so there you go there you have it so it should work now if you press the button okay if you press up you go up if you press down then you will go down and there you go it actually works